Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It is with great pleasure that I welcome all of you to the 2018 Mission Early College High School graduation ceremony. At this time, please stand for this presentation of colors, our national anthem, Pledge of Allegiance, and our Texas Pledge. Please remain standing in silence until the colors have left the building.
pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Good afternoon. As we gather here today as Phoenix, let us be mindful of the journey we were blessed to go through. Let us be thankful for this day and the many opportunities it presents. May we pray for strength and guidance and appreciate and use each day that comes to us. May we be challenged to give our best and may our hopes inspire others. Let us continue in this new chapter with optimism, perseverance, and confidence. Thank you. At this time, please be seated. I would like to offer special thanks to the Col America's Color Guard under the direction of Chief Hawkins for presenting our colors this afternoon, Tracy Hugh for singing the national anthem, Laura Arredondo for leading the Pledge of Allegiance and the Texas Pledge, and finally, Sydney Acosta for this afternoon's invocations. Thank you again. I would like to introduce SISD Superintendent, Board of Trustees, and special guests. Please stand and be recognized as you're introduced. SISD Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Jose Espinosa. <laughs> SISD Board President, Ms. Cynthia Ann Najera. <laughs> SISD Vice President, Ms. Angelica Rodriguez. SISD Board Secretary, Mr. Antonio Ayu. SISD Board of Trustee, Mr. Hector Gonzalez. SISD Board of Trustee, Mr. Gary Gandara. SISD Board of Trustee, Mr. Paul Guerra. SISD Board of Trustee, Mr. Michael Najera. Associate Provost UTEP, Dr. Donna Eckel. Mission Del Paso Campus Dean, Joshua Villalobos. Superintendents, cabinet members, and SISD administrators. <laughs> Mission Early College High School Assistant Principal, Ms. Leslie Goldman. <laughs> Mission Early College High School Counselor, Ms. Alicia O'Quinn. <laughs> and I would also like to recognize the following special guests. Senior class sponsors, Ms. Flores and Ms. Valenzuela. Good afternoon, class of 2018. It is truly an honor for me to stand here today and address you in your graduation ceremony. 
When I came to mission almost 10 months ago, I kept hearing, we are unique. And in my mind, I wondered, what exactly did you mean by unique? Today, I know what makes the Phoenix unique. You all possess qualities that only the Phoenix possess. Throughout this month, I have seen you reach your dreams and achieve the high levels of success with the help of your amazing faculty and staff here today. Thank you, faculty and staff members, for your continuous support to our Phoenix. Phoenix, I have not only seen you complete an associate's degree, but, I have also attended, but you have also attended UTEP prior to completing your high school requirements. I have seen perseverance and determination at its fullest. Phoenix, go after your dreams, and remember, you only live once. Earlier this school year, Dr. Espinosa was named the 2017 winner of the Escalante Gradillas Prize for Best in Education due to leading and inspiring our teachers and school staff and ensuring our children get the best education possible. He was recognized for doing more with less, overcoming obstacles, boosting achievement levels, and rising the standard excellence for his schools and district. Along with the national recognition, Dr. Espinosa won a $20,000 prize which included a 10,000 individual cash prize and another 10,000 for his district, which was used to fund SISD educational programs. Following his commitment to educate and treat our stu students like his own children, he chose to give his personal 10,000 prize to Socorro ISD students in the form of scholarships. Dr. Espinosa gave 5,000 to a Wien Academy student and gave five seniors $1,000 each. The seniors were selected via an essay contest in which they wrote about how they and their family have done more with less. Many outstanding essays were submitted, and one of the winners selected is our very own Phoenix, Madison Ochoa. <laughs> Madison, can you please come forward? Along with the scholarship, Dr. Espinosa asked that Madison's family be honored as well as VIP seating at her graduation. Congratulations once again, Madison and family. And now, please help me welcome Dr. Espinosa to the podium. Congratulations again to Madison Ochoa and her family for the well-deserved Best in Education Award. Good afternoon, Mission Early College Phoenix. Wow, the day that we have all been looking for is finally here. And it's an honor and a privilege, privilege to congratulate the class of 2018 from Mission Early College High School. Es un honor felicitar a nuestros graduados de la preparatoria, preparatoria Mission Early College. Graduates, today is a day filled with excitement, with energy, and lots, lots of postings on social media. However, it is also a day filled with new opportunities. All of you have the opportunity to go out into this world and be successful in what 
whatever field of study or profession you choose to pursue. The only question now is, are you ready? And as your proud superintendent of the Socorro Independent School District, I am confident the answer to that question for all of our graduates here today is a resounding yes. At SISD, we take pride, pride in providing our students with endless opportunities that prepare them for college, careers, and life. Whether you realize it or not, graduates, everything, everything that you learned in elementary, middle, and high school has prepared you to, the, to take the next steps in your life. As an example, pre-K many years ago, or kindergarten, that gave you a solid foundation in education. Free dual credit classes gave you a head start and saved you money in college cost. As a matter of fact, SISD students are anticipated to have earned more than 26,000 college credit hours and collectively saved more than nine million in college expenses for the 17-18 school year. Wow. <laughs> Career and technical education classes gave you training, experience, and a certification to, to get a job right out of high school. SISD students annually earn approximately 6,000 industry-recognized certification. That is amazing. Our focus in Operation College Bound has been to remove obstacles and provide opportunities so that every student can be successful in a college or university, as well as in a job or career immediately after high school. But that's not all. Graduates, you've learned the value of hard work, teamwork, and perseverance through extracurricular activities, such as fine arts, athletic programs, NJRO2C, debate team, robotics, band, the list goes on and on. All of these opportunities have given you the skills and the confidence to be role models for your younger siblings, to be responsible and disciplined, to be leaders in your community and to take on new challenges. Most importantly, I know Team SISD has opened your eyes to the world of opportunities awaiting you. After today, it will be up to you to decide what to do with those opportunities. In the spirit of basketball, the great Steph Curry from the Golden State Warriors said, I hear some Golden State fans in the crowd, right? There's probably some LeBron fans as well too, right? Well, Steph Curry from the Golden State Warriors says that life is like a game of basketball. You can score a lot, you can lose easily, and you can quit. You have to make the decision. Steph Curry and the Golden State Warriors won game seven against my Houston Rockets and earned another trip to the NBA Finals. And just like the Warriors, I know all of our graduates here today will continue to score a lot and win by working hard and having that I can do it attitude and never, never giving up. So no matter how successful you become though, always remember to be humble and kind. Don't ever, don't ever forget to thank the people who have helped you succeed. And graduates, let's take this opportunity to do exactly that. So parents, grandparents, uncles, aunts, and entire, entire family, thank you for the love and support that you gave your children, which helped them become the fine young men and women that they are today. Padres, abuelitos, tíos, tías, y toda la familia, 
gracias por el amor y apoyo que les dieron a sus hijos que les ayudó a ser los jóvenes ejemplares que son hoy. So, parents and grandparents, family members, I need the graduates' help for this. Parents, family members, please stand up so that we can thank you. Padres y abuelitos, pónganse de pie, por favor, para darles las gracias. Graduates, look at your family. Let's give them a loud, loud round of applause. Team SISD has provided our graduates with quality instruction, guidance, and support. So I would like for our Mission Early College High School principal, assistant principal, awesome teachers, the support staff, and district leaders, as well as all of our SISD employees, if they're cafeteria workers, bus drivers, police officers, entire staff, please stand so that we can recognize you with a big round of applause. If you're an employee in Socorro ISD, stand so that we can thank you. Another, another group who is dedicated to providing our students with endless opportunities to succeed is our two-time Region 19 Board of the Year and a Texas Honor Board, our SIZ Board of Trustees. Board members, please stand so that we can applaud you for all of your support. Mission Early College High School, class of 2018, go forth and seize your big opportunity. You are ready. Congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Espinosa. At this time, the 2018 senior class president, Alondra Chaparro, would like to present the senior class gift. Thank you. Good afternoon. When asked to give a gift to the school, we were puzzled because we couldn't imagine giving the school something that it hadn't already given us. With that being said, sorry, <laughs> we focused on the necessity at the school and we are happy to announce that we were able to purchase carts for the school which are used year round for events. Also microwaves for the cafeteria and lounge to keep up with the hectic lives a mission student has. We were also able to purchase faculty t-shirts, faculty and staff t-shirts to be worn in years ahead of time. Lastly, we created a mural for the school to remember us by, because the class of 2018 is not a class to be easily forgotten. We've broken records, held standards, and brought many smiles to faces. And last, one last time in my class, it has been an honor to serve as your senior class president. With that being said, I cannot say goodbye to you, the people I've grown to love, for the memories we've had will last a lifetime and we will never know a goodbye. Thank you and I love you all deeply. On behalf of the Mission Early College High School family, I thank the class of 2018 for this gift that will serve many Phoenix to come. On our commencement, one of our commencement speakers, Dr. Donna Eckel, is an associate provost at the University of Texas at El Paso. During her time at UTEP, she has worked closely with all area school districts, El Paso Community College, and with the nine area early college high schools to ensure their students' successful transition to higher education at UTEP. It is my pleasure to introduce Dr. Eckel.
Thank you. It's very nice to be invited back to speak at Missions Graduation. This is a very special school to me, and it makes this occasion one of the great highlights of the graduation season for me. As you graduate, it's a natural time to look out into the world and see what opportunities await you. Right now, as we look around, there's a lot going on in the world that's, frankly, a little bit scary. The growing number of school shootings terrifies all of us. Columbine, Sandy Hook, Parkland, and now Santa Fe, Texas. The Washington Post recently reported that more than 215,000 students have experienced gun violence at school since Columbine in 1999. At least 141 children, educators, and others have been killed, and another 287 have been injured. There's so much wrong with that. And while people from all sides of the issue are working on solutions, there's just not one in sight. Immigration is another complicated issue that affects many of us, especially us living on the border every single day. People are coming here in search of a better life in the United States, but access to that better life is becoming more and more limited. Families are being divided by travel, by deportation, by jail. We have students at UTEP and maybe even here in this room who live in fear every day of being deported to a country that they don't regard as their home. Global warming is impacting weather and climate around the world, resulting in increasing global temperatures, rising sea levels, changing precipitation patterns, and expansions of the desert. Here in our desert, we feel this impact and have concerns about prolonged droughts, heat waves, and increased pressure on our freshwater resources. So why am I talking about these things at your graduation today? Because some days I think about these issues and I wonder, What's ahead for my children, my grandchildren, and my students? What kind of world is in our future? And I feel like I should just stay home sometimes and cover my head and hope it all goes away. But then I remember something. I remember you. And, and you give me, you give all of us hope for a bright future. Some of you will be teachers, counselors, first responders, or social workers. You will be there when that next young person needs help. You will help that distressed youth find peace. You will help that frightened young person find strength. And you will help that distraught parent find solace. You will be there to find the answers for why these bad things keep happening, comfort us when they do happen, and help us find solutions to keep them from happening in the future. Others of you will be lawyers, politicians, clergy, or volunteers in communities working to provide safe places for the men, women, and children coming to this country searching for better opportunities for themselves and their families. You will work with others to find solutions that protect the borders of our countries and respect the rights of us who live here, as well as hold true to the value of welcoming others to our home that is part of the very foundation of our belief. Still others of you will be scientists, engineers, medical professionals, and entrepreneurs who will communicate with others around the world to bring appropriate solutions to global environmental problems that are beyond our understanding today. You will create better technology to harness renewable energy, better treat our tons of waste products, and more effectively recycle the materials we use therefore reducing carbon emissions and curb the increasing temperature of our planet. And still others of you will be artists or musicians or writers or actors, and you will bring joy and beauty to us every day so that we don't get weighed down so heavily by the bad things that are happening and going on in this world. You will remind us of the good and the inspiring so that we can help others to remember those things as well. So why am I talking about these things today at your graduation? Because you, you give us hope that it's all going to be okay. You made a choice in eighth grade to take a different path, and now here you are, graduating from high school with college credits and even an associate's degree. Now it's time to start making ne your next choices about your college education so that you can have an, a greater impact on your community. How can you maximize that impact? First, don't stop at an associate's degree or even a bachelor's degree. 
keep going, get a master's degree, a PhD, a medical degree, a law degree. Go as far as you can so that you can have the greatest influence possible. Second, vote. Most of you are 18 or will turn 18 soon. Register to vote and use that right. Don't let others make decisions that impact you without your voice being part of that decision. And third, be involved in your community, however you define that community. We are all parts of numerous families and groups and communities. We can contribute in many ways to those various groups to make them healthier and happier and more able to pass that health and happiness along to others. So why am I talking about these things at your graduation? Because of you. You are my hope. You are our hope. You are our future. You have the talent, the skills, the work ethic, the energy, and the intelligence to step up and make this wonderful world so much better. I know our future is bright, and that's because of you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Echol. Our next guest speaker is currently serving as a Dean at Mission del Paso Community College. Dean Villalobos has played an essential role in the success of Mission Early College students. At this time, please help me welcome Dean Villalobos. I am not as talented as your superintendent, Dr. Espinosa, so I need to write down my speech. So. <laughs> Uh, congratulations, class of 2018. Um, on behalf of our board of directors of EPCC, Dr. William Serrata, our president and vice president of instruction, Steve Smith, I also want to congratulate you again. Today we are here to celebrate your hard-earned effort, achievement, and memories as you embark onto your new stage of life. I don't need to tell you what a remarkable achievement you've all completed just by being here today. This achievement will change the course of your life in ways you may not know right now, but it will. Today, we are here to celebrate with all your friends, classmates, and family, and teachers who have all had their parts to play in your remarkable success. At Dean of the Mission Del Paso campus at El Paso Community College, I, along with Principal Reyes, had the distinct pleasure of working our hardest to ensure that you have the strong educational foundation that in time you will use to build not only your future, but our community's futures as well. As you leave today with another educational goal completed and begin to move closer to your next milestone, I would like for you to take a moment as you leave today and, re and reflect on two things. One, take notice of the people around you. To get where you are today is no small feat. It involved your friends and classmates who studied with you or had to remind you to study, in my case. It involved your family who supported you and gave you encouragement to continue when things looked like they weren't gonna go the right way. It also involved a small dedicated army of teachers, staff, and administrators to, to make sure that you all did your best, had the best, so you could be the best. The second thing I want you to reflect on today is don't forget the road you took to get here. For some of you today, you've completed your educational journey getting your, both your associate's degree and your high school diploma and will begin a successful and productive uh, career and be members of our community while others will continue their education at UTEM, NMSU, or beyond. But no matter what you do or how far you go, remember where you started. You all represent the best El Paso Community College and Socorro Independent School District has to offer, and you'll always be our best ambassadors to our community and to the world. Your success that led you here, your personal stories that are truly unique, and your bright futures are a true testament to the type of students we are proud to call our own. Congratulations again, class of 2018.
Thank you for your inspiring words, Dr. Eckel and Dean Villalobos. We truly appreciate you taking time to be part of our graduation ceremony. At this time, we would like to recognize the Mission Early College High School top 10 graduates. They will be announced from 10 to 1, including their GPA and the college they will be attending after graduation. Top 10 students, when I call your name, please stand to be recognized. Number 10, with a GPA of 98.43, Alondra Vanessa Chaparro. Number nine, with a GPA of 98.45, attending the United States Air Force Academy, Raymond Emerson White. Number eight, with a GPA of 98.74, attending UTEP, Jose Alberto Flores Gomez. Number seven, with a GPA of 99, attending UTEP, Priscilla Daniela Padilla. Number six, with a GPA of 99.16, attending UTEP, Amber Marie Kincaid. Number five, with a GPA of 100.22, attending Texas A&M University, Gabriel Avila. Number four, with a GPA of 100.61, attending UT Austin, I'm sorry, attending UTEP, Juan Andres Lasso. Number three, with a GPA of 101.41, attending UT Austin, Michelle Chuang. Number two, with a GPA of 102.18, attending UT Austin, Gabriel Enrique Flores y Fuentes. Number one, with a GPA of 102.24, attending UTEP, Victoria Samantha Navarrete. Congratulations, you may be seated. At this time, I am deeply honored to introduce Mission Early College High School salutatorian Gabriel Flores. Good afternoon, friends, family, faculty, and fellow graduates. I want to begin by congratulating today's graduates. I see this not just as any brief speech, but as the last time that I will be able to address you, the Mission Early College class of 2018. First, I would like to thank all of the individuals in my life that have helped me get to where I am today. Quiero darle gracias a toda mi familia, Sin su apoyo incondicional, nunca hubiera podido cumplir todos mis sueños. Mamá, te quiero agradecer por todo lo que has hecho por mí. Decidiste venir a los Estados Unidos para poder darme una mejor vida, no pensando en ti, sino en nosotros. A pesar de todo lo que has pasado, siempre has sido una mujer fuerte, cariñosa, inteligente, pero sobre todo, nunca me dejaste darme por vencido. Gracias. I would also like to thank my brother Manny. Thank you for putting up with me for 18 years, for taking me anywhere I needed to be, for taking the blame for things that I didn't do. <laughs> I don't know where I would be without you. I would also like to thank all of the teachers that I have ever crossed paths with in the past 12 years. Without their dedication, a six-year-old boy who had just arrived in this country and didn't even know how to speak English would have never accomplished all of his dreams. <laughs> I'd like to especially thank Mr. Weeham. Thank you for all of the lessons you have taught me. Thank you for loving and accepting me for who I am, even before I learned to do so. Thank you to Bianca, Claudia, Chris, and Pam for welcoming me into your beautiful home and family, making me feel loved, 
and for always ha having a fun time. However, the people that I owe the biggest thank to is actually anyone that ever gave me a ride anywhere. Thank you for that. <laughs> Just kidding. It's the Mission Early College class of 2018. Four years ago, we walked into these halls of our campus, not even knowing each other's names. We bonded over events such as the pep rally, the bonfire. We made unforgettable memories on school trips during all-nighters during the summer as we took college classes to get ahead. And today, we will walk towards into the next stage of our lives with an associate's degree, with lifelong friendships, and with the knowledge that we are capable of anything we put our minds to. We are a testament of the change that is to come. We made it past any challenge and rose above all odds. We are the class of 2018. <laughs> I'd like to conclude with one of my favorite quotes. Carl Sandburg once said, I don't know where I'm going, but I'm on my way. <laughs> in the moments when you feel like you don't know where you are headed, just remember that mission and all of the individuals in your life have prepared you for what is to come. Go out into the world with your head held up high and with passion in your heart. Congratulations, class of 2018. We made it. <laughs> Thank you, Gabriel. And now it is my pleasure to introduce to you Mission Early College High School's valedictorian, Victoria Navarrete. Good afternoon. Before I begin, I want to say a few words to some of the most important people in my life. To God, Thank you for giving me another day of life, and thank you for your unconditional love and grace every day. To my parents, thank you for everything you've done for me. I most definitely wouldn't be the same person standing here today without you guys. I love you. To my little brother Isaac, thank you for teaching me to appreciate the simple things in life, and thank you for impacting me with your smile every day. Para mis familiares, Los quiero mucho, y estoy muy agradecida con el apoyo que ustedes me han dado todos estos años. To my friends, thank you for believing in me when I couldn't, and thank you for giving me one of the best gifts a person could ever have, a true and lasting friendship. And now to the prestigious class of 2018. We did it, guys. As we close this chapter and take off to the next adventure in our lives, let's not forget the unique and beautiful experience of belonging to the best high school in El Paso. Mission Early College. For four years, we've embraced our non-existent hallways, gotten lost at EPCC and UTEP campuses, stayed up until five in the morning to finish a project, and stressed over how to balance our college and high school schedules and activities. When we first came to MEX, our peers at traditional high schools told us that we would miss out on the high school experience. But in reality, they were the ones missing out on the ultimate experience of being a phoenix. Throughout high school, <laughs> throughout high school, you've been able to get closer to reaching your dreams, complete an associate's degree, get ahead in your bachelor's degree, and most importantly, you've been able to be a part of a loving family of teachers and students that not only know each of you by name, but have pushed you to be the best versions of yourselves. As you walk across this stage and receive your long-awaited diploma, remember those special moments because they are truly unique. Through all the procrastination, stress, tears, and sometimes losing our minds, we've made it to this bittersweet moment. Class of 2018, today we take off as Rising Phoenix to set this world ablaze with our talents, personalities, and virtues in a time where the world is in need of desperate change. Each of you have a unique set of abilities to make a difference in the lives of people that need hope, that need life, protection, love, and a voice. Whatever path you choose to take, don't let fear hold you back from pursuing your dreams. Be bold and give it everything you've got and more. I've had the honor and privilege to know most, if not all of you, and I'm so excited to, this, to see the sparks of change you ignite in the lives of people in our city, our country, and in nations worldwide. I will dearly miss all of you. God bless.
Thank you, Victoria. And now I would like to introduce Ms. Flores and Ms. Valenzuela, our senior class sponsors, to present the Phoenix Award. The phoenix appears throughout history and in our literature from ancient Egypt and the Bible to Shakespeare's plays and Harry Potter. At Mex, the phoenix represents the student who rises above the norm, who shines in scholarly pursuits, in community service, and in the way that they treat others. A Mex phoenix is a student whose reputation and story will live on in immortality, much like the mythical bird. Year after year, Mex graduates a large number of exceptional students students who embody the true spirit of a phoenix and whose accomplishments are truly outstanding. And each year there are 10 students who are picked to receive the Phoenix Awards, not because they are better than anyone else, but because they represent the very best of the phoenix ideal. Students, when your name is called, please approach the stage to receive your honor from Mrs. Reyes and remain on the stage until all students are called. More often than not, the first one to volunteer on and off campus, she is a true philanthropist. This year, as senior class president, she helped plan and carry out a variety of activities, including senior sunrise, homecoming, prom, senior sunset, and senior banquet. Our key club president is an amazing example of an individual who is not only reliable, but also who has a generous and selfless nature about her. This award goes to Alondra Chaparro. Our next student organized new activities and opportunities for our future engineers. He also led the charge for friendly soccer matches with other area early college high schools, providing an athletic outlet for our students. A kind and giving person, the president of math and engineering is well respected by our underclassmen, as well as older peers at the University of Texas at El Paso, where he has served as a team leader in his courses. Thank you, Jose Flores. With a contagious heart, I'm sorry, with a contagious laugh, she has a warm heart. A born leader, she commands respect in each organization she's a member of, from BPA, NTHS, UIL, Student Council, NHS, Class Officer for 2018, and Captain of Phoenix Flames, and endless community service hours. She has never lost sight of her academics, where she will continue to excel at the University of Texas at Austin. She consistently displays a high degree of integrity, responsibility, and ambition. She will be a true success in life. We look forward to seeing her accomplishments in the future. Welcome, Michelle Chuang. This next Phoenix can be described as outgoing, fun, creative, and an individual with a giving nature. He's a student who can be relied on to help with so much from tutoring underclassmen, prepping supplies for blasts to the past, or helping organize and run senior class activities and hosting Flex Friday informational sessions. As a freshman, he was a founding member of our high Q team. Welcome, Derek Adnodinus, an outstanding example of a student with natural curiosity. The next individual's integrity and character comes as a rare and refreshing reminder of the kindness in humanity. Her leadership and interpersonal skills are equally matched with her organizational and academic skills. She is particularly dedicated to her education as well as her values and morals. Her strong beliefs are truly something to applaud for a young lady surrounded in today's constant pressures and disappointments. She is the president for BPA and NTHS a member of NHS, Student Council, and Key Club. She was also a state qualifier for BPA this year. For these reasons, Alejandra Lopez is truly deserving of the Phoenix Award. <laughs> 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 
mission activities cannot run without behind the seams help. That's where our next recipient comes in. With a humble and modest nature and always a sense of humor, he has given us endless support and help. Talent show, Mr. and Miss Mission, pep rally, he has been there documenting, documenting through photos and keeping things running smoothly. As a student council officer and competing member of ACADEC and HOSA, he has served his diverse interests with the Phoenix family while never seeking the limelight or acknowledgement. He has the ability to find an authentic and real presence in all people and situations. He will continue his studies in forensic science. Thank you, Miguel Garcia, for all you have done. The embodiment of integrity. As a phoenix, he completes his responsibilities with kindness, assurance, and excellence, and always with a smile. A member of BPA, NHS, HOSA, Youth for Christ, and president of NH, excuse me, NHS, he juggles many responsibilities and maintains a high academic standing. As a dedicated member of Key Club, Gabriel was recognized as the recipient of the Horizon Kiwana Scholarship. Congratulations, Gabriel Avila. Your involvement has been stellar. The spirit of a phoenix is like a flame, strong and bright. The recipient of our next Phoenix Award has always had a kind and helping heart and a remarkable enthusiasm for all things mission. Like all true phoenix, she will be remembered by her peers and teachers as someone who made mission a better place. Her bright smile and her infectious and bubbly personality have made her a valuable member of Drama Club, Student Council, and NTHS, as well as being an outstanding officer of National Honor Society. She often serves as a school ambassador and she represents in a positive and outstanding way. Michelle Ramirez, you may be small in stature, but big in heart. Our next Phoenix recipient is the epitome of hard work, extreme dedication, and self-confidence. Anyone who has ever interacted with her is captivated by how respectful and positive she is. She has been active in Drama Club all four years, starring in her premiere performances as a freshman. She was a member of the first Mission HOSA team to qualify for nationals, and she has been an active member of NHS, NTHS, BPA, and SNHS. Whether it was painting a huge sign for the Star Wars Cantina or becoming our most recent Terry Scholar, NIE Diaz, you will long be remembered. Anyone that knows this individual can attest to his remarkable intellectual skills. This young man is selfless when it comes to sharing his talents with our community. He is a member of BPA, NTHS, NHS, and HOSA. His academic accomplishments include competitions and success at the national level for BPA all four years, and the only person to ever qualify as a freshman. He also excelled in UIL, Science Fair, Key Club, and HOSA. For these reasons, Gabriel Flores is truly deserving of the Phoenix Award. There is one more award to be given this afternoon, the Award of the Rising Phoenix. The Rising Phoenix Award traditionally goes to the student who has had to overcome much in order to succeed. This year's Rising Phoenix is a shining example of a person who has high standards and expectations for herself. She has worked hard to get to the top, but she has also not neglected being involved on campus. She's an active member of Key Club, NHS, SNHS, HOSA, and BPA. She has volunteered more than three hours, 300 hours of service to the hospitals of Providence. Her work ethic is superb, and the future is indeed bright for her. An accomplished musician, she just returned from state solo and ensemble and has really shared those talents with us on many occasions. She is indeed a well-rounded young phoenix. Congratulations, Victoria Navarrete, on your many successes at Mission and the many more to come. Please join me in congratulating each of our prestigious Phoenix Award winners. Each of you has risen above and shown brilliantly these past four years, and Mission has been a better place with each of you on campus. You will be greatly missed. Students, you may be seated.
Congratulations, Phoenix. Let us proceed with the moment you've all been wait, waiting, waiting for. Mr. Ayu, please join me at the podium. <laughs> I'm sorry. Mr. Uh, Dr. Espinosa, members of the school board, as principal of Mission Early College High School, I hereby certify that the students receiving diplomas have successfully completed requirements for graduation prescribed by the Board of Trustees, the Socorro Independent School District, and the state of Texas, and are entitled to receive their diplomas. Class of 2018 seniors, please stand. Dr. Espinosa, SISD Superintendent, SISD Board of Trustees, Superintendent's Cabinet, family and friends, visiting relatives and guests, I hereby certify that the students before you have completed all the Mission Early College High School, Socorro Independent School District, and State of Texas Department, uh, and State of Texas requirements for graduation. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Mission Early College High School Class of 2018. You may be seated. SISD board members and Superintendent Dr. Espinosa, please join me in the presentation of diplomas. And now I would like to welcome Ms. Valenzuela and Ms. Flores, senior class sponsors, who will read the names of the graduates. Can we please have the graduates approach the stage? Graduates, as I call your name, please join us on stage to receive your diploma. Victoria Samantha Navarrete. Gabriel Enrique Flores Cifuentes. Michelle Tuang. Juan Lazo. Gabriel Avila. Amber Marie Kincaid. Priscilla Daniela Padilla. Jose Alberto Flores Gomez. Raymond White. Alondra Vanessa Chaparro. Sydney Acosta. Edith Aguayo. Slow down. Antonio Aguero. Jalen Alcantar. Brandon Alvarado. Bianca Alvarez. Marisa Alvides. Vanessa Anchondo. Isabella Dej Andrade. Alexis Victoria Archuleta. Viviana Arianes. Jennifer Armendares. Laura Elena Arendondo. Bianca Avila. Navin Baron. Omar Baron. Whitley Benson. Sergio Bustamante.
Diamond Alexis Candelaria. Christopher Carbajal. Alondra Denise Castillo Maese. Melissa Castillo. Sergio Chan. Daniela Shkaret Chavaria. April Contreras. Angel Coronel. Isaiah Sear. Anai Jocelyn Diaz. Stephen Din. Quinteus Dublin. Catherine Espinosa. Brenda Danielle Estrada. Miranda Reese Federico. Stephanie Florentino. Brian Flores. Jason Alexander Flores. Austin Franco. Cora Fuentes. David Galvan. Amanda Garcia. Christopher Damasio Garcia. George Ricardo Garcia. Miguel Garcia. Daniel Gijon. Luis Gonzalez. Claire Rose Hernandez. Derek Hernandez. Adrian Herrera. Guillermo Herrera. Michelle Herrera. Stacy Hune. Tracy Hune. Raimundo Ibarbo. Stephanie Lamas. Myra Daniela Landeros. Valeria Lara. Jonathan Lares. Gemily Zoe Lopez Rodriguez. Alejandra Maciel Lopez Veliz. Hector Madrid. Julian Martinez. Karina Martinez. Samantha Martinez. Alexander McCray. Alyssa Claire Medina. Diego Armando Medina. Caroline Mena. Martha Montaño. Chelsea Jeanette Moreno. Brandon William Myers. 
<laughs> Madison Lene Ochoa. Demetrius Ortega. Diego Andres Ortiz. Priscilla Lisette Padilla. Rene Pedrosa. Eduardo Lalo Ramirez. Javier Ramirez. Katie Ramirez. Michelle Ramirez. Esmeralda Ramos Bitter. Grecia Ramos. Charles Damien Renteria. Ruben Reyes. Victoria Renee Reyes. Brianna Giselle Rivera. Destiny Antolina Ruiz. Tyler Salas. Mona Lisa Sanchez. Daniel Segura. Joanna Marie Sierra. Stephanie Ruby Soto Corral. Alan Guillermo Tiscareño. Karina Alexis Valadez. Galilea Velasco. Alexander Velasquez. This concludes the candidates for graduation. Class of 2018 seniors, please stand. At this time, you may transfer your tassel from the right side to the left side, signifying you are now graduates of Mission Early College High School. Next teachers, will you begin the recessional? <laughs> 